because one due to due to their excellent uh, service and second due to their professionalism okay and third their their commitment to the customer la. I run Casey from Home Quarters and today's episode of Closing Thoughts, we are very honored to be inviting one of our past clients, Yu Qi over to share with us his experience about the entire buying process with us. First up, maybe let Yu Qi introduce himself to you guys. Hi everyone, I'm Yu Qi. I freshly bought a property together with uh, Home Quarters. Maybe walk us through the entire process. I uh, remember when we first met up, it is actually uh, in a show flat. What actually kicks off this entire say buying process? I was actually a Singapore PR before this year, so I've just freshly uh, got my citizenship approval. I thought that it's actually a good opportunity for me to get into the property market and to purchase for myself and also for my parents. That was when I decided to start looking at the condo market. I was a bit lost then, so I was looking uh, here and there. So interestingly, you see he's buying it uh, himself as a single person. And of course, uh, he's young, very young, below the age of 35 years old, right? So in actual fact, he cannot really qualify for executive condominium unless he do come in together with the parents. So we met him at the executive condo uh, show flat. We actually walked him through the entire process of uh, eligibility, financial plans as well. So maybe at that meetup, tell the audience, how, how do you feel about the entire meetup uh, on our first first time that we met? I remember the first time we met, we were actually on the showroom of another property. So I found after a short conversation with uh, Casey here, what suits me is uh, actually not not really executive condominium, but actually a secondhand resale or new property purchase. So I think that was when I felt a bit um okay. I thought we could probably have a deeper conversation. We both agreed that it wasn't really the right place and the right time to talk about this in more details. So I think that's when we decided to meet up on another day and a time to uh, discuss more about our options. It wasn't too nice to be in the showroom talking about other development <laughs> per se, right? So actually we met up another time. And that's a second meetup whereby I think we go through deeper into the financial calculation. We go deeper into your like, dislike, your objective, maybe even your time horizon. What is the reason for purchasing this unit? And of course, from there, we did recommend a few and shortlisted a few property for you. Maybe talk through with us this entire maybe second meetup that we go deeper in with you. Okay, so for the second meetup, OKC provided quite a detailed uh, financial analysis for me. I did a comparison between the pros and cons versus buying new versus uh, buying, buying resale. So I took the option back to my parents for a quick discussion. So I think after a few days of deliberation, then we finally decided that we will be looking more for a resale flat. Casey was also very kind to basically quickly adjust to our demand. He basically very uh, efficiently arranged uh, quite a few viewing sessions at the different properties so that we can take a look at the available options back then. Yeah. So I know there's this period by you're thinking, hey, new is also okay, resale is also okay. But I say, hey, why not let's go take a look at both? Right, so we actually went ahead to go and look at some of the private uh, condo new launch site, a few locations that we did shortlisted nearby your workplace as well. Maybe tell us about the experience going towards this all this newer private condo show flat and what eventually leads you to then choose the resale in the, at the end. After viewing a few of the newer showrooms, so my general impression is that for the newer uh, units, I think that they tend to be a bit too small and especially in terms of the kitchen and as well as the number of toilets toilets per se, it doesn't really suit our family needs. I know that my parents, they, they tend to like cooking quite a lot. So I think the stoves in those uh, new, newer rooms, they are more mostly induction cooker type. And also, of course, uh, you know, the price is uh, definitely different. So that was why I decided that it's a good, better idea to take a look at the resale flat. Uh. Those that are not so old, probably just within four or five years, which is basically good as new. And the price wise is more better. Yeah. What's important is that we see the option that is available. After a few days of deliberation, we managed to say, okay, let's focus on resale. And we quickly went arrange, especially when a time uh, whereby the prices are quite uh, are in an increasing trend then. We did do the viewing together with you and then walk through, hey, eh, what's good? What's, uh, what's the pros here? What's the cons here? And what can you do with the space itself? Maybe during the entire viewing process, how do you feel working with us then? Like walking through the entire unit, etc. The services provided by home quarters is actually quite uh, exceptional. I'm a first time buyer, so there are a lot of details that I do not know. So many things that I need to clarify with uh, Casey. He has also been very patient to basically address all my 
concerns and queries yeah so i think that was one of the good points that i experienced and then basically professionalism and also the commitment to go uh, beyond what is actually expected of him yeah mm. thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i think concurrently we were doing the bank loan assessment and also viewing the place because we don't want to, to, to lose out because a lot of times better units or good units or good value units out there are very quick to be off the market already. Yeah. So we did it concurrently and we actually advised UC to go ahead to do the assessment first because we want to be very confident when we found a unit that is really suitable that we can actually put down an option. So that is what we did together. So finally, after you know uh, deliberating on, on a few units out there, why made you choose this particular unit that, that you have purchased? Oh, okay. So the unit that, that I actually purchased is on a higher floor than what I'm currently staying at in the rental unit. So I'm currently staying at level two and, uh, and the balcony is actually facing the swimming pool. So for me, uh, one important thing is that I actually like to live in on a slightly higher higher floor. One is that it's quieter, and secondly, is uh, I think it's slightly cleaner because if we are on a higher floor, I think the unit that we chose was actually fits my criteria the best la. So it's basically facing uh, not facing the pool, and it's also quite high la. Then of course the uh, availability of of having a uh, two toilets for two room uh, unit is also one a uh, big plus for me la. Yeah. So after identify that you know that is something that you really want to go for, then we quickly go into the negotiation phase. Right, maybe talk to the audience. What went through the negotiation and actually how did we help you overcome that phase? During the negotiation phase, because as we know, the, when you look at sites like Property Guru and etc., right, usually the owner or the agent, they will put up a certain price on the website. But actually those uh, prices, I didn't know that you shouldn't take it at just at face value. La. So based on that, KC also advised me that actually we can, based on the price that they gave, we can actually try to negotiate and bargain with them a little bit based on the condition of the house and all that. So I think he provided some uh, tips and tricks on how to best approach this negotiation process. So that actually saved quite a lot for my purchase also. For that, I'm quite thankful. Yeah. Thank you so much. I think importantly, what we, we here at Home Quarters do is that we not only look at the asking price, we look at the past transactor price. Valuation works as well because very importantly, I think anybody, the seller, can put up any price they want. But when we are a serious buyer, we actually really look at what is the trend of past transacted. And then we, we are not looking to lowball the seller. We are serious and genuine and we want to put up a serious and genuine offer there as well. So after the negotiation, then um, what comes after is a lot of uh, paperwork, documentation, lawyers, etc. etc. How, how do you feel that we help in that sense and that process after the option to purchase uh, is, is issued? Basically for me, because I'm a first time buyer, for all the subsequent paperwork, including uh, contacting the bank and also getting a lawyer to handle the legal stuff, I don't have any existing contacts or anything. KC also recommended some of his known uh, people who offer good services at a reasonable price. So I think for me, it's actually quite a big time saver because I'm actually a semiconductor paper fab engineer. So actually I'm quite busy at work and I don't really have much time in my off days to research a lot of things like that. So I think having having KC's help in finding a good match for the lawyer service as well as the bank banker is actually quite helpful la, for me. La. Yeah. So for us, we pride ourselves in being a one-stop shop service, holding your hand through the entire process because like you mentioned, right, you're a first-time buyer. You really need someone to handhold you through the entire process, be it banker, be it lawyer. Whoever that we often work with are people that we trust as well, that we know will do a good job. That's why we recommend them to you and also at a reasonable price as well. So it really can take your mind off the entire uh, tedious ah, yes. selling, uh, sell and purchase process. Then after that, it's all said and done. But you bought uh, a tenanted unit, so we have to do uh, the handover. E even though it's not in the unit itself, actually, I think the lawyer actually handled it quite well in that sense. Right now, the, the entire process is uh, done already. Maybe yeah. let's say you have friends and family uh, that, are, that might have some real estate needs. How would you uh, recommend us to them? I would recommend home quarters to my friends or family who are keen to purchase or sell their property because one, due to, due to their excellent uh, service and second, due to their professionalism okay, and third, their, their commitment to the customer la. they are uh, honest and easy to deal with you can be assured that you are, you are in safe hands la. Okay, great. Thank you so much for today's interview We have shared a lot, the experience, why he do it how the experience like working together with Home Quarter and I hope you guys get a lot of value out of this Closing Thoughts episode Before we end off this episode, is there anything else that you want to add to the audience when it comes to first time purchasing of a private condominium unit? 
I would just like to uh, probably share with other first time buyers out there. Don't be afraid. It may look uh, daunting and uh, intimidating, but actually you just do a little bit of your own research and then the rest you can basically leave in the hands of uh, home quarters and, and KC. Like. I'm sure they will take care of you very well. Yeah. All right, so that's it for today's episode of Closing Thoughts. If you like content such as this, do remember to comment, subscribe, like, and also follow us on all our social media platforms. So remember, call home quarters and start packing. And remember, call home quarters and start packing. <laughs>